My name is Euro8 and today I'm going to show you how to dump and rip PSP UMD video discs. I'm going to be making some more videos and guides soon. I've just been in a slump lately and not really felt like doing anything creatively. Uh, but it's coming back and my enjoyment of it is coming back. Uh, my enjoyment for it rather. So without further ado, let's start the guide and go over to the PSP. On the PSP, once you have the UMD video you want to rip in the drive. Right there is Rain of Fire. I have mine in. Um, but once you have yours in the drive, what you're going to want to do is hit select to bring up your custom firmware VSH menu. I have ARC420. Yours might look a little different depending on what custom firmware you have. And the location of uh, these things might be different on yours, but it should more or less be the same. But what you're going to want to do is it's at the top for me. So where it says advanced VSH menu, you're going to want to press X on that. And then where it says USB device, you want to use the D-pad to go over to where it says UMD and then you want to hit select to back out and then select again now what you're going to want to do is scroll over to settings and click USB connection so now that we change the USB device it will no longer show your storage device when you connect it to your computer it'll mount the disk inside the UMD drive so remember to change that back after you dump your UMD all right with all of that out of the way let's head back over to the PC once back over at the PC, at this point you should have switched the USB device to the UMD drive and your PSP should be connected to your PC. Once it pops up, you will now see the ISO image of the UMD you have inside the drive. Simply copy and paste it somewhere on your PC and wait for it to transfer. I recommend making a new folder somewhere to house all the files so it's easier to keep track of everything. Once your ISO is done copying, it's time to start ripping. First, go ahead and rename the ISO to the name of your movie or whatever you're ripping. Um, as you can see, I did here. All right, so next you're gonna need to download a couple files. You're gonna need VGM Toolbox and UMD Gen. I use UMD Gen 2 because UMD Gen 4 quit working for me on Windows 11 for some reason, but I'll leave links for both in the description. Also, I recommend installing everything in subfolders within the folder where you place the ISO image so it'll be easier. All right, once you have everything downloaded and installed, what you're gonna wanna do is open UMD Gen, click File, then Open, and browse to the location of the ISO you dumped. Double click it and open it. Here you can see the root directory of the UMD ISO. Next, you're gonna wanna right click on root and hit Extract All. Once the window pops up, browse to the same folder where the ISO is and make a new folder for the extracted files. Once made and selected, click OK to start ripping the files. Once done, now close UMD Gen and navigate to the folder where you extracted the ISO. You should see a subfolder labeled UMD underscore video. Open that folder, then open the stream folder and these are the actual video files from the UMD ISO. If you are ripping a movie, look for the file with the biggest size. That's most likely the main file, or you can just rip everything if you want. But in my case, the main film is the third file down. So right click and cut the files you wanna rip and paste them into the VGM toolbox folder. Next, open VGM toolbox Double click miscellaneous tools, then stream tools, then video demultiplexer. Now under options, change the format to MPS, PSP, UMD video. And make sure extract audio and video is selected. Next, just drag and drop the file you want to rip. Once complete, you will see some new files in the VGM toolbox folder. You can now delete the MPS file as it's no longer needed. All right, you should now see an H.264 video file and an OMA audio file. If you end up with multiple audio files, just open them up until you find the one in your desired language. Finally, open your chosen editing software and open the raw H.264 file and the OMA audio track.
As you can see, sometimes what will happen is the video track is out of sync with the audio file and doesn't match the runtime. So what you can do if you use Sony Vegas like me is go to the end of the video track, hold control on your keyboard, and drag it to the end of the audio track. As you can see now, it's perfectly in sync. And Or you can use whatever equivalent that does this thing on uh, your editing software that you use. So now finally, just export to whatever video format you want, and you're finished. And after your video file finishes rendering, you're done. That's it. You did it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. Or if you just wanted to watch to see because you were curious of how you did it or whatever. Hope you enjoyed watching. Expect new content and guides soon. I have a whole bunch of stuff I want to make and a whole bunch of stuff I have planned. I just need to actually do it. So yeah. Once again, thanks for watching. Your 08 out.